Are you ready for the most impressively crafted and designed tower defense you've ever seen? Very hard. Spawn if level is completed. Yes. Slow. But fast building for us. Start the game. Okay, there's a reason why I picked those options, because we played this map a couple of times. It was very entertaining, <laughs> but it was also incredibly buggy. So, just got to be a little bit careful. A little bit careful. <laughs> oh my goodness. We played it on the fastest mode possible, but on normal difficulty. So, you know, it wasn't too, too much of an issue or anything like that. But where it went wrong was it would spawn creatures so fast it wouldn't be able to command them quick enough to move. So they'd all be standing AFK basically not doing anything. I'm probably going to leak here actually. Oh, okay. One's going down. Couldn't catch them all. Not used to playing on this hardest difficulty. Yeah, I've got a few more leaks come through my way, so that should help. So, oh, ten lives. This will be interesting as well. Okay. So I should have blocked a bit more around, but what I wanted was to get Petty Criminal on the front here. Because he's pretty good. But he's got less range than these guys. These are amazing, really, for their cost. But you do want to sort of build up some decent towers. But what, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by leaking... We had loads and loads of creatures just spawning, spawning on top of each other, spawning on top until people's computers were starting to break. It ended up disconnecting me in the end. But it was funny. But we can't afford to do that again. Close. But good. So, the towers I quite like is this one, this one this and then onwards. I think it's probably a good idea to get like one of each of these because you can see they've got different attack types, different uses. This one's the only one that has a magic attack type so there's benefits to sort of spreading out a little bit with your tower love. That's a good idea by Tainted. Yeah I like that actually. I like that. I'm going to change. I'll upgrade this. Close. Yeah, I'm copying Tainted's Maze. I don't know. I think in my experience you should leave two gaps. It's obviously a lot better to have one gap, but they seem to attack, in my experience, with one gap, so you're taking a bit of a risk there, and I have told Tainted about this beforehand. One gap is definitely better, but do we really want to risk it? I want the bear here, and I was four gold short, so I'm taking a bit of a risk. Okay, cool. We had to get a bear here now. There is a tower. This guy builds the more advanced towers. And it's 10% damage for all towers. Don't know what the range is on that one, though. Ah, extra gold. Let's see if we do get gold. I think we share the gold. There's my bear. My bear. Tabajo. Thank you very much there, all living shadow. Oh, <gasps> 
this puts me in a predicament of the one space, which I don't want. So I'm still going to stick to the two gap, just to be as safe as possible. Because I don't want to destroy my towers, but I mean, if Tainted gets destroyed, then we've probably lost anyway. He's been using the amazing contest mentality of making them go from like right to left in the furthest line possible. It looks good though, as long as I build somewhat sensibly and around this back around, back around sort of thing and have the t strongest towers in the middle. Should be good. He's also getting a few extra kills, but I again, I don't think his gold goes up. I don't know if he gets more gold than me. I've got eight gold. He's got zero. So I should have eight gold at him at the end of this round. Hundred... Yes. Okay, so we do share gold completely. So there's no selfishness, unfortunately. <laughs> this was the level that actually started attacking my towers when I built with a one space gap. Yes, the board at the top right is giving us a lot of useful information. At least this is running better, but it's still having the same issue where High Rise mentioned that if there's only one computer that's programmed to send the AI to do their job, aka Player 12, Spieler 12, then what happens? It can command up to 100 units to be effective at moving any more than that and it starts to lose the orders that it gave in the first place and then they just stand still and start attacking because they forgot what they're supposed to do which is to move to this point and then away to the end goal so that's why we're playing on this mode now so that we can hopefully have like a hundred or so mobs and not too many more than that because we had thousands of mobs in the previous level I wouldn't change the speed of the waves can we? Uh, I'll have a look in it in a moment once the gold comes through. Did Tainted leak? What is up with this maze? He's not as perfect as you think, people. Everyone who thinks this Tainted guy is so perfect. So amazing. I think I'm good. It seems to be working at the moment, so I'm a little bit concerned if I want to change any commands. There's an incredibly strong tower called the Ghost Tower. If you upgrade it down a certain path, which will take a long time gold-wise, it has one of the most impressive AoEs I've ever seen. Righto. So it's almost a case of I might just save for that since I don't seem to be leaking. This one's good versus single targets because it's got poison. And you sometimes get like a boss character. They can win walk, but I don't know if I have a character that can reveal invisible units. So it looks like some of the creatures have their own abilities. You can see the range of the tower. That bear is really good. I'm going to save up on the ghost. Okay. 
favoring the mass. I mean, in a lot of ways, that sometimes is incredibly effective. I like doing this build. It can work, because you're not building around a center point like I am here. This is hopefully not going to aggro the creeps. Otherwise, that's very good otherwise. This is so weird, though, because Sail59, when he builds here, he can attack these creatures that spawn for Mormon Jesus. Look, so he can... I would say he steals gold, but he doesn't, because you don't have to worry about people stealing gold in this. I think I'll get my ghost here. This seems like the most central point, because all the towers are going to come around here, by the looks of it. So this would be like the most central point. Or here. I really need to get that ghost built. Because I might end up leaking the next level. I'm just trying to skip to it. So this, this is the amount of total kills so far this level. That's how many lives we've got left. I'm not sure what the blue one is. Four hundred and hang on a second. Oh no. I'm still not really close enough to it. Anti boss attack. I'm gonna take a risk then. And hope that I can clear this level without leaking. So I can just get the ghost on the go. It looks bad though. They're coming through pretty quickly. They've got fortified armor. I need to get siege upgraded. I'll have to do it. I don't have a choice. I wanted to go to Ghost, but I also don't want to leak. This map is perfect. Incredibly well made. Almost as good as Tainted's map. What's at the top? How did you steal these towers then? Oh yeah, you did. <laughs> did you find a special command then? Give those towers back, you meanie. What a bully. I don't remember that being in the manual. Oh, those are the special abilities. So we saw Windwalk. We're going to have Divine Shield, so a long maze would be good for us, is that? So this map has, like, the premise the execution isn't necessarily quite there. Those are the armor types it's telling you about as well. The effectiveness of damage. Oh, that was... Uh, 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 uh. More gold is required. I'm going to upgrade you. Because he, he has a dot. Oh no, this is a leak. This is like 100% a leak. I've got nowhere near enough DPS to deal with this. How are you getting untainted? You might kill yours. Probably not though. You guy, this guy's pretty worthy of upgrades anyway. But he's supposed to have, yeah, damage over time. So I was hoping that we can make enough of a difference. This is on the hardest difficulty. <laughs> he's trying to extend that maze. But you're not, you need to focus all your DPS on this guy. Did you just block? Uh oh. You better kill him quick then, because he's going to start attacking your tower soon. No, you got lucky there. He actually decided to try to get out of the maze again. I'm sure that was calculated. Is there enough DPS for him? 
<laughs> We've only got two lives, so I think what Luke in one of these might have cost us like five lives or something. I, I didn't see. Okay. I don't know what they're doing at the top. The Diesta maze is a little bit iffy in certain places. <laughs> I'm really impressed with this so far though. Really impressed. Come on, Mr. Bear. I'm going to stick you on at least one of these. I'm going to right-click spam so you can hit at least one of these once. And get that dotting effect. There it is. You can see it, it working away. I thought I was going to leak really badly there, but this bear is... It's pretty good. Need something to slow them down, though, really. Since the quill beast is unnecessary, why would you even have it then? Slows enemies AOE. Okay. I could get the ghost. Let's get the ghost. I want the ghost. And then I can get the slow afterwards. So the ghost can attack five units at the same time, which is obviously pretty cool. And it upgrades and does more and more damage. Just a pretty solid area of effect tower. So I suffer a bit versus single targets. So I might want to try to get the scorpion. I'm not typing convert. I'm trying to take this somewhat seriously. See, that's a good idea. This guy upgrades to the full AoE. You maximize the amount of time that you can do damage to everything nearby see what his range is at the moment. Not too bad. Angry bear. What status of bear is mine at? He's a big bear. For you. What is it? In come the satyrs. So I'm right clicking on, the, on these as they go past. Looks like I'm okay anyway, but I just want to make sure.
If he's causing, uh, let's see how he gets on. If he causes any more trouble, I will ban him. I love this co <laughs> cooperative uh, TD we've got going on here. Nice co op TD. Oh, that range has definitely improved. It's just the single target that can be a problem. I don't know how many levels there are. Did it say 33 levels on the starting screen? For some reason the number 33 seems to be in my head. <laughs> 60 plus levels, really? I don't think we're going to make it that far. <laughs> 63. Oh, it's going to take like six hours to get to that point. Yes, Alright, because we've got the fine coming up, I'm going to extend this maze. I'm still not going to do the one gap, even though it's nicer. Oh, fortified armor. Let's see how we get on. I can't upgrade this guy anyway. This guy's got chaos though. So that should probably be enough. I mean, look at that. He's attacking seven. I think he goes up to ten on the next upgrade. The ghost is ridiculously good. You've also got the upgrade, did towers. Like, they can be probably potentially very good. But I'm still concentrating on my lower towers at the moment. But perhaps this would be worth building. If it, if I found myself in a position where I could just wait till I've got 5,000 gold. We co we don't have inventory spots. You expecting there to be like bundles of lumber and gold? Teamwork. Look at all the crates in here. It's gonna take forever to get for this. It's a reflection on how long the TD is gonna take. It's an interesting party of units. You wouldn't expect them to be hanging around with each other. Yeah, that that ghost tower. So good. The heaven tower is pretty busted, yes. At least that's my experience on playing this a short while ago. Yes, me lord. Oh, 
Yeah, the lost soul <laughs> tower buffs nearby towers. This is one of those YouTube quality maps, absolutely. Diesta's leaking here. Been playing too much World of Warcraft, not enough Warcraft 3. It's not good enough. It's made him soft. We're close to the Avatar of Vengeance. These trolls take 90% damage from piercing. Apparently there's hero damage. I wonder who has hero damage. They really get stuck once they get to this point. And my tower has enough range. And the bleed damage on the bear is of hitting them as they go up. They stop and then they come back down to get some more bleed damage. So uh, this actually ended up being an incredibly sort of useful position for these two towers in particular. I see a blue dragon. Someone said earlier that they thought my curtains were some ghosts that kept flying at me. Oh, Fred, it was you, wasn't it? You want to take credit on that one, do you? Hang on a second. I thought I was upgrading to the Banshee. No, I wasn't. It was the Avatar of Vengeance. Oh, the Banshee comes afterwards. And then comes the stairway to heaven. At least we can say we beat this tower defense on very difficult. The only shame is, is I've left us with two lives, so if we leak like pretty much anything, we're going to die. And there's like 40 more levels. <laughs> I think I might be brave enough to try to speed up the gameplay soon. Well, we need to do it in a way where it doesn't spawn more units, it just increases... No. I don't. I don't know how I can improve it. Because we still need to have it so that no other units spawn until every other unit is dead. Otherwise we're going to have the same issue we had last time. And it's going to break. What is it? No one else available. We lose if they get through. Am I ever gonna gonna ever race again? What do you mean, Savage? Not after that fateful accident, and I could never start. Ra I could never race again. Now most people who have accidents, who are in racing, always go back to it because it's in them. It's in their nature. It's what, they, it's what drives them. But I don't think that's what you're talking about. Okay, Diasa. Calm down. The Banshee upgrades into the best tower. Well, 
I don't. I can't say the better. We haven't exactly played this for that long. We we probably died before this level actually in previous run or something similar to this. Not a terrible idea to get a ghost again, so you can hit up to fifteen targets. This is Tainted's favourite TD because he can stand still and do nothing. I like this though. From right all the way down to left and then back up all the way to far right. Mine isn't quite so elegant but it seems to get the job done. The bear is what's getting the job done though. I think he's not getting enough credit. People need to respect the bear. Whose base was getting attacked? It looks like this one, maybe. I don't know. They've come through. They're not going through the rest of the maze. Did you block? No, you was talking about how I said I was the boy racer. <laughs> I was a boy racer. I wasn't the boy racer or anything like that. But I was nothing impressive. It was just something I liked to do when I was a kid and I first got a car. It's the it's the rite of passage for most males. Is to ride and drive like a twat. Oh okay. This is bad. I just upgraded that so I don't have money. I wasn't expecting another boss character. This is very bad. Man, that damage is crazy. I'm never going to be able to do enough damage, even if I can kite him forever. Oh no. Charles, no. He seems to have just a bit too much health. <laughs> I'm not sure what we do about that. Minus six lives, huh? There's no way Tainted was going to kill his one either. On the hardest difficulty, that doesn't seem to be particularly well balanced. I mean, if he, if he was like 20 to 30% health left, you'd think, oh, okay, I could build differently. But when he's still got like 80% health left, I'm not sure what more I could have done with my money to make that work. I focus too much on the AoE tower. Yeah. But at the same time, even if I built, even if all of my towers were single target damage towers, would they have actually got that killed? It wasn't purely AoE. I did have some towers that were useful for single target. There's only a couple of levels where there was one creature, aka a boss. But the backseat games will come through regardless. But in my honest opinion, you probably wouldn't kill that anyway, even if you did have a whole bunch of slow towers and single target damage towers. And if you did, would you be able to get through the other levels without the AoE tower? You know? 
the majority of the levels were based on AoE, so it doesn't make sense to go heavy on that single target. I think what I needed was more AoE towers. Yes, Wolfie. Need a large. Oh well. That was a tower defense. Perhaps you got something out of it. Perhaps you didn't. Perhaps you'll forget this ever happened. 